So writing is a funny business because there are millions of us who are wannabe writers and would-be writers. Um, and yet, rather than sitting down to enjoy writing, we're often obsessed with getting to the end of it and having finished the book and looking for a publisher and that side of things. Um, and what I think is positive about this initiative to write 50,000 words in a month, which is NaNoWriMo in, in November, is um, that it's a way of fighting against procrastination. It gives people a motivating factor in their lives. And there's also um, the fact that you are doing it as a shared endeavour with other people. And that's like dry January or Stoptober, where this kind of sense of being part of a community can really help. There's also the, the where you write as well as the when you write. And so while we might set aside a month to try and do lots of writing, there's also where is that writing going to happen? And Virginia Woolf talked about every woman needing a room of her own and an independent income in order to do their writing. And so perhaps place is something we really need to think about more than just the time that we take to write. In a way, I think that it's possible to overthink both, both sides of that. Um, there is the aspect of writing, which is just to get on with it and write where, where you can. I found there's a sort of parallel with yoga, which I used to think I had to be feeling really serene to engage with. But actually, I find you can do yoga when you're very stressed. And the same with writing. I think we can wait too long to be in the right mood and in the right place. But having said that, modern life is incredibly distracting with family, friends, children, job, iPhone, other people have got that they have to um, attend to. And so there is um, a struggle to find somewhere peaceful and tranquil to actually do your writing. And I've experimented with lots of different places. And like a lot of other writers, I've sort of tried to find my groove and the space that I can really focus on the, on the writing itself. I've been writing since I've had small children. So my first novel I wrote while we were on holiday, sometimes all kinds of places. When we were in Brittany, uh, my partner would take them off down the beach and I would sit on some rocks uh, with my briefcase and uh, literally sit there writing while I could hear them playing further down uh, and splashing in the sea. So you can write in places like that. I have done uh, different sorts of retreats in different places, um, organised writing retreats for writers. And what I find with some of those is that I'm a little bit too unsociable because you're meant to eat with the other writers in the evening and I quite like staring into space. Um, in normal life, I'm very much about grabbing the moment. Um, I write in cafes like JK Rowling, I write on trains, I write in all sorts of different libraries. Uh, I have written on park benches. Again, when my son was small, I used to stop the buggy when he was asleep and sit on a park bench and write. So I do think you can write in lots of different places for short periods of time. A lot of people ask me about writing with um, on a screen or a laptop or pen and paper, and I am a great fan of pen and paper. I think there's something about that which takes you back to being a child and writing in a really naive, unself-conscious way. And for me, that really does work. So I, I think don't overthink it. Find the place that works for you. Find the time that you have available and enjoy your writing. <laughs>